Hello gems, new week, new vlog, new attitude. You guys, my car is filthy after that damn snowstorm on Saturday. But I know I'm late getting to the vlog today. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm about to go to the grocery store so I can pick up Bo some formula. But I have been editing all day long, like all day long so much content that i'm trying to put out for you guys and i'm really enjoying it i'm seeing the numbers grow the goal is i really want to hit fifty thousand by my birthday how about that that's realistic um we're almost at 22k now so 50 would just you know so if you haven't at this point i need you to subscribe like a bunch of you watch it and you're not subscribed i, I don't I, let's talk about it let me know i am here for you i appreciate you being here for me but like reciprocity i got you you got me we got each other like hook it up let me know let me know what i need to do but in the meantime hit subscribe so we can just you know hash it out together so right now i'm headed to the post office like i said i'm going to the grocery store so i can pick up Bo some um infamil but how about it's 58 degrees it snowed on saturday okay and it was cold as a witch's titty last night now it is gorge sun's out guns out toes out and um girl this hair mm, um when i get back i think i'm gonna take both for a walk because she needs to come outside today it's really really nice especially before the sun drops but this weekend we what did we do we move forward right we sprung forward so that has been a game changer i know when pierce gets home he's gonna be so excited to go outside and play which is great because like i am a firm believer in like go outside play with your friends less electronics less screen time like let's do this so yeah i just wanted to come in check in with you guys say my hellos welcome back if you're new here i'm amber a M B R in the A, not to be confused with Amber, but I probably still answer to it. Um, and we have a good time over here at the Amber Life, you know, between me being a mom of three, living with my sister after relocating back from Seattle. I don't think we've talked about that, but I'm trying to like give you cliff notes of like what, where we, where we were, where we've been, where we're going, you know. So this week is kind of chill. Oh my God, you guys, I've been partying so much because everyone's birthday is like every day of the freaking week in my life this is my first week of like chill i actually have a full book of clients this weekend like all day long <laughs> and um and then sunday we're going to the jasmine sullivan concert so that's gonna be super dope so that's sunday and then monday i go see jojo girl i'm living the life i'm happy about it too especially since i've been transitioning um from working full-time to really putting a lot of energy into my content i'm just excited to just like have this motivation i've gotten my adhd under control in some in some ways um taking the ashwagandha supplements have been like a game goddamn changer i'm not even gonna sit here and hold you and uh also my fitness journey like since i've lost five pounds getting to it and we'll talk about that a little bit later um, me and my sister started with the cabbage diet and baby, I lost five pounds in five days. Now it's water weight, but it's still weight nonetheless. So I haven't incorporated gym activity yet. I just haven't been able to find the rhythm with Bo, um, and how I can get this whole gym thing done. So I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to just like, I'm going to see like, how can I get to the gym at least four times a week? um i mean i could go to her sitter but it's like it's so hard to go to the gym in the evenings i think once pierce is done with basketball which we have a playoff game tomorrow we're in the semifinals, and then there's the finals after that the championship and then girl when i'm done taking him to practice in the evenings maybe i can do it um because he goes to basketball three days a week and it's just i'm, I'm tired i'm tired i'm home all day with Bo. 
creating content for the business. I still have my lash clients, Pierce's extracurricular activities, socializing because everybody's birthday is every other damn day. And then still trying to find time to like fit in fitness. Like I just, something's got to fall off and I'm, and I'm definitely in the season of that transition. School's about to wrap up. Baby boy goes to camp one less child i have to like manage for 30 days so we'll get there i'm not gonna hold you let me get my ass there and back because avery's in the house with the baby now and she has basketball practice so it's just gonna be like a little 30 minutes that she has her she can manage that and some but she can definitely manage that so i'll check back in with you in a little bit I need to get bows and stuff, but I'm really interested. This one's mango, carrot, yogurt, and oat. She loves sweet potatoes, so I'm definitely gonna get those. Um, and I go between beech nut and organic Gerber food. I got her some of these. I think she's really gonna like them. So, yeah, I think. I don't know about pumpkin. I don't want to be wasteful. That's apple, banana. What's this one? See, that's stage one. She's stage two. Huh. That's all ones. Oh, twos are down here. Okay. Oh, she loves the banana orange pineapple. I'm gonna try to get greens in her. Girl, she hates spinach. I have tried so many times. Oh, maybe I'll try the apple and kale. I'm gonna try the peas, green beans, and asparagus. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one too. So, baby girl getting tick tick because she eating good. And then I ended up grabbing her some teethers because that's what's happening. And then the stuff for the cabbage soup. But I think we're good here. Actually, let me get her another. Okay, that's a power blend. Oh, oatmeal banana strawberry. Yeah, let's do this one. It's called Primavera. Is it Primavera? I don't know. Marinara sauce? Pasta marinara? I don't know. We're about to see. We want to look at the jar. Not the kids saying, oh my God. She filing the baby nails. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll send you my guy. He was good with Stella. She was bad. I need your trainer Yeah, he comes to you. Hey, Gems. How you doing? Um, Sorry about that. I am just jumping on the vlog today. Um hella productive so i think i just kind of got like swept away um and doing what i was doing so i was able to apply for some jobs actually got some interest um i was able to edit a video find some really dope music um i updated my amazon storefront so i'll make sure to list that in the description box below so right now i am prepping to make um jalapeno poppers and then, I don't know if I've talked about this yet on my channel, but me and my sister did the cabbage cleanse. Um, and I lost five pounds in five days. Um, you do tend to lose just water weight, but as women, you know, we retain more water than men. And I need something to kick this off. Uh, me and the friends, we started on Monday after all the partying we did over the weekend. And um, now we're trying to get summertime fine. We do a lot of wine festivals, music festivals, all the things. So, um, Drea and Josan actually have Pelotons. Me and Kia are using the outdoor elements and just getting our food together. So, I'm prepping the jalapeno poppers and then my sister actually makes the cabbage soup for us, um, which is the cabbage cleanse. So, I'm right here prepping off the vegetables so when she gets home tonight, she can finish that out and cook it. The beautiful thing about the cabbage soup is that it is essentially keto. Um, you can add shrimp, any kind of protein, sausage, whatever, whatever, you know, tickles your fancy. 
um, and it's actually really good. Like it tastes really good um, for those who may not be into um, cabbage. It's actually quite yummy. So that's what I'm doing right now. Bo has been asleep since one o'clock. My cousin came past earlier. She hung out with us for a little bit and I don't know what juju she put on my baby, but Bo Bear has been knocked out. So um, I've been just taking advantage of the past three hours doing all the things that I just discussed. Um, Avery's home from school already. Pierce is at after school program. So he'll be home like around five and then he has a playoff basketball game tonight. So we have a pretty hectic latter part of the day and it's absolutely gorgeous outside. The kids are complaining that it's warm. Um, so I can't wait for Bo to wake up and we take a bit of a little walk before we get out of the house. But if she sleeps until he gets here, I ain't mad. Because then um, she'll just have a better attitude when we leave the house. You know how that goes. So yeah, I just wanted to catch up with you guys really quick. I'm going to jump back on once I'm in a position to like not be multitasking and trying to hold this camera at the same time. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'll check it back in with you guys in a little bit. The boo boo butt. The boo boo butt. Hi, mama. You woke up. You woke up, love. Yeah, you did. Made it to Pierce's basketball game. No, put her um, diaper bag in first. But make sure it's upright because, um, yo, Dr. Brown bottles are trash. Don't get them. I mean, get them because she's never been colicky, which is always a blessing. Do <sighs> see how beautiful it's locked? Do see how beautiful it is outside? This way. <sighs> um, oh, somebody's living their best life. So we're up in Harvard of Grace. It's so pretty out. <laughs> we're in the playoffs. This is the game before the finals, which... We're gonna win. I'm so excited. I don't have to pee because I drank so much water, but I don't do public, baby. Look at Bo Bear. He looks so cute. Well, her sour cream and onion chips. That she's been playing with this whole time. Ooh, Ooh cover your mouth, Rona. Right. All right, let's roll. You got it, girl? <laughs> All right. Slow it down. No, it's so nice outside. I don't even know what I just did. Um, you don't even know who checked it. Like, I know. Okay, well, does I anyone else have this noir is what I'm wearing shirt from Black History Month from Target? Do I just have a thick neck? Or is it really tight? I feel like I'm always being choked. Like, I want to cut it, but I don't want to ruin how cute this sweater is. Anyway, it's a little... I can feel what it's gonna be like when we leave. Cause it's quite, it's a little chilly. It's, I can feel it on the back end. It's nice now, but by the time we leave, I'm wrapping Bo up. I actually think the door was locked. Oh no. Go ahead, babe. I don't like how small this door is. You were gonna carry her. Girl, we have a stroller for a reason. I know. Let's get some footage of the boys playing. Alright, we're warming up. Can't, team doesn't seem like they have a bit of nerves. That's Zeke. That's my homeboy right there. Boy, is Zeke. <laughs> we, got, we got our starting five. Noah. Fire. We got JC. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you arrived, JC. You arrived. P. Diddy? No. Oh, they're going to the side. Oh. <laughs> Why are they running over there like that? And they're doing layups. Good job. A lot of that. Got lay up with my boy. Oh, you gotta hit the box. Gotta hit the box, bud. Pierce, you gotta go behind him, not in front of him. And your girl, she mean mugging. How do babies win the stare off contest? I'm mean, like, how do babies win the stare off contest like this? She can't be broken. <laughs> Why is it so hype? Girl. 
Make sure y'all say y'all thank yous. Yes, my salad is so bomb. But she's also making the soup. So. <laughs> so, we have options. We're all out here getting, we're all out here getting skinny for the summer. And but, to be healthy, Amber. Oh. And to be healthy. Not <laughs> Happy Wednesday, fam. Um, I just dropped the baby off with the sitter. Um, nothing spectacular going on. Sorry, my curls are just like super tight. Um, nothing spectacular is going on. I'm just getting my lashes filled. But listen, day three of eating clean on keto. Um, I'm so excited. I don't think I've told you guys that I am planning a really big 40th birthday overseas and we just booked the villa and I'm really excited about it. Um, so we're still in planning mode. Shout out to my girlfriend, Danielle, style and beauty doctor. Sis put me on to this travel agent and I'm actually going to share a little bit that she, this is not sponsored. But, um, like, I'm so hot I have to turn the air on. Um, I just want to tell you guys about my experience. Um, and I'm sure you all can relate to this. You know how, like, you plan trips with your girlfriends and um, everyone is so excited and so, like, ready to go on this trip. But then when it comes down to, like, money and, like, commitment, things start to get a little foggy. So, this beautiful black woman named Marissa created Travel Trunk about six years ago. Six? Nine years? I can't remember how many years, but it's a travel app similar to like your Expedia and your Travelocity, except you're not you're not looking through and combing like best rates and stuff. What ends up happening is you set a budget for your trip. So say you want to set a budget for $2,500. $2,500 includes airfare, your, your room. It includes transportation, any excursions. Like legitimately, you should be able to show up any place that you plan your trip and just enjoy yourself. Um, and it was because of an experience where her friends were all supposed to go out of town with her. And they all backed out. And she paid for everything on her credit card. And ended up going on this trip alone. Like people do that... And I hate to say it, but our people do it a lot. And uh, I really didn't want that experience for my 40s. Like, I just can't be chasing people down. Like, I'm inviting you because I have a very curated group of people that I wanted present at my birthday. If you can't come, that's perfectly fine. If you're skeptical on the process, um, skeptical? Skeptic? Skeptic? Yeah, okay. On the process, then um, I respect it. But... I'm going to be there. I know where I'm going to be for my 40th. <laughs> You're welcome to come um, or not. So why is this not giving what I needed to give? Oh, there we go. Girl, I'm like hot. It's 67 degrees, but it feels like 75. Um, it's definitely a really beautiful spring day. So I say all that to say me and my seven girlfriends who have committed um, to going on the trip because what ends up happening is you're able to set up um, 
like reoccurring payments kind of like you're putting the trip on layaway you can put fifty dollars a hundred dollars two hundred dollars aside weekly bi-weekly um semi-monthly whatever the case may be um as long as my time is ready to get things going your funds are there so like i have mine set up um it's like two hundred dollars two hundred dollars every two weeks that I put on my trip until I get to my threshold, which is the budget that we set in place for each individual. Um, and there's some really exciting elements to my birthday that um, she plans everything. She books everything. She books your flight. And I have girlfriends coming from the West Coast. She books um, our excursion. She books our extracurriculars. Like, super, super dope. So, um, with that said we are at a place financially as a group where we've saved enough to book the villa and we're doing that today so that was a real drawn out version of like what's going on um now i'm headed to my lash appointment i don't have anything else after this i was hoping to try to fit in a nail appointment but they they're booked like there's nothing i can do about it um i'm gonna and i was like trying to save on gas because you know gas is out of control right now but um yeah baby girl's in good spirit she probably is about to take a nap if i'm going to be completely honest um i did film a short reel before i left the house because what i'm finding out and i don't know if i've shared this guys that i entered the sephora squad um contest which essentially means i'd be representing women um who i encourage to embrace their youth wherever they are in life just because you're a mother doesn't mean you have to lose yourself um, you can still be a great mother and still be fly and that's what I'm always trying to promote on my page it is um, a juggling act it, it isn't quite balanced because you just can't balance that someone's always gonna get more than the other um, whether it be children significant other work uh, your own desires and aspirations like there's no way that you can take a pie and slice it equally amongst all of those things so it really is about um, just setting an intention to be as successful as you possibly can with as many hats that you wear throughout your life so with that said, um, I did enter in 2019 and I made it to the semifinals. But this year, it's my 40th, it's a magical year. We are going to literally kill this. We're gonna win, not overall, cause it's like a group, it's a squad. Um, I'm gonna be a part of that squad, I'm speaking into existence. I'm gonna make sure I have my unique URL so that you guys can leave a testimony. If I have ever at any point in your life motivated you, encouraged you, um, provided a relatable view on life, um, I, I employ and encourage and ask humbly and graciously for you guys to leave me a testimony because that really helps me in this process. Um, but yeah, y'all, um, I'm a little late to the day because I was filming that content and like getting things out. So I'm trying to explain to people on my various platforms like where I need their support and how they can go about supporting me. So with that said, I'm gonna blast my music. I need to cool off my water with my little, um, what is it? Kool-Aid, zero calories, zero sugar. So I'm drinking fruit punch in my mind. Um, I'm going to cool off because it's hot outside and ain't nothing hotter than like lugging a 20 pound baby in a car seat in and out of a car. And I have on my waist trainer. I'm not playing. I ain't playing. So I will talk with you guys in a little bit. Say hi, Nana. <laughs> the ladies. Ready for the film. <sighs> Look how cute her baby is. Look at the she bad though. <laughs> nah, she's an angel. Say hi, Harley. Hi, Mama. Yeah, someone said I don't need a fill, but not a so good. She got me out here like crack. Ooh, girl, I got a pimple. Ooh, I can't wait to get my hair done. It's beautiful outside today. Hey, you boo boo, you boo boo. Look at the baby. She's so cute. Who you, boy? Who you talking to like that? Watch your tongue. You know you got black mama. <laughs> Why are you fine? 
I don't, but I'm a girl, I love them. <laughs> First of all, the devil is a lie because this fried food that I can smell, it's a little aggressive. My lashes are fire. As always, now that gets it done. I'll be back here tomorrow morning because I need my nails done. And he couldn't fit me in today, as I mentioned before. So now I realize I do have some errands to run before I go pick Bo up. And I'm trying to maximize the sitter. I order Bo's high chair <laughs> from Ikea. So I need to go pick that up. And then I need to go pick up my um, order to cart. Excuse me, from Target. But right now I'm trying to think about what can I eat that's going to be appropriate in keto. Oh, I'm so hungry. <gasps> I know what I can eat, y'all. I'm going to go to Five Guys. It's right next to Target. <laughs> I'm excited. So, yeah. This is the test of how you know your lashes. See how dark they are? Listen. Nutta is so good. Ugh. Now, I don't know if I told you that Nutta is who certified me so learn from the best get the best um it's still hot as shit also, uh, but this is definitely gonna hold me over until my trip next week and then i have my next appointment in two weeks i'm very 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 much religious when it comes to my lash appointments and my nail appointments i do not fuck around so all right let's get to ikea I've picked up a stray. So um, we are headed to pick up the baby right now. I just left Target, but I stopped past the house to drop off the Ikea stuff that I bought and then the Target stuff, of course. But now we're at the babysitters. Oh, they're outside, Bo Bear. Oh, the babies. There's like three babies. Hi, my honey. All right, let me grab her. Why is Diddy calling me right now? Oh my gosh. I was in there kicking with the girls. Look how cute my nails are. So Tia did my nails this time. Oh, and I really like them. Girl, why is it so cold outside? Ugh, I gotta get home. You guys, I actually have an interview at 12 o'clock. Um, but it's over the phone. Whew. So I don't gotta look cute, but my nails is cute. I'm gonna show y'all. I told her I wanted something abstract and um, springy. Who these damn that hurt? Okay. Um, I am headed home now. I'm hungry, but I can't really eat until um, 12, 1 o'clock because, you know, I do intermittent fasting. But. Always have a good time with the ladies at the salon. We were geeking and talking about everything. Girl, why my ear? Put that ear, put that ear away. <laughs> I got this hat from Target um, during the Black History Month. And I love it because it has a silk, it has a silk lining inside the hat. So, you know, somebody black created it. Um, I'm real hungry. Let me focus. Catching with you guys in a little bit. Catching, touch base. I'll let you know. <laughs> Happy Friday, folks. Excuse my edge band. <laughs> but, um, girl, it's 60. My car says 64, but it's feeling, it's giving very 70s in Baltimore. Beautiful day. It's not raining. I was supposed to shoot content yesterday, but we ended up having to cancel because it was raining. So we're shooting today. So that's on the docket. I'm actually headed to go get a pedicure because I have two looks that have open toe shoes and baby. Eight, baby like my feet it's just not the best representation of the amber life and i just can't put that out in the universe so i'm headed to go get my pedicure now um the kids had a half a day so my sister and avery and pierce and Bo are home and then me and avery are gonna go to the shoot together because my niece y'all she's my secret weapon these gen z babies who understand the tiktok and the facebook and the twitter 
and the Instagram, honey. She gets me all the way together. Some of the content that I most recently post, my 13 year old needs help me with. So she has a passion for photography. So she's gonna come get some behind the scenes, even capture some content for the blog. Um, we'll get some reels in there as well. And um, yeah, girl, uh, today's gonna be a good day. That's it. That's really the only thing that we have on the docket. Uh, my sister's gonna make me a keto pizza tonight, which I'm really excited about because yesterday we had, um, I don't even know why I didn't pick up my camera other than me just kind of, I don't know, just being in a headspace of like wanting to chill. Like I binged on Yellowstone all of season three. So now I've started season four. But Tarika uh, made uh, corned beef and cabbage for St. Patrick's Day yesterday. It's just, I mean, we're not Irish, clearly. But it's something to Corned beef is bomb as fuck. And um, she makes it so good. So that was really dope. Um, and I was just kind of laid up with Bo. We were just being bums. Plus, I didn't have any, like, fun content. But this weekend should be really dope, though, because um, me and my sister are going to the Jasmine Sullivan concert on Sunday in D.C. We're going to go grab a bite to eat. I have to find, when I'm sitting in this chair, I'm going to find a restaurant for us to go to. Um, I was supposed to go with my girlfriend, Tania, but oh, baby girl, she's expecting. And you have to be fully vaccinated. And um, and I advised her, I was like, it's totally your decision. But um, I did not get vaccinated while I was pregnant with Bo. I just feel like when you're of a certain age, especially us having babies later in life, I just didn't want no outside noise. I didn't take the flu shot. I didn't do the vaccination. I waited until after she was born to do those things um, and out of my system. And then she got antibodies through my breast milk. So that's how I approached it. And honestly, she's in agreement. Um, I'm just sad because uh, Tania is one of those girls that... Um, I vibed with so so heavily on Instagram and now we're friends outside of Instagram and that's the homie but we're gonna um you know what I'm gonna take her out on a date I'm gonna get sister girl out the house because we were remote working for so long we gotta get her outside and we just gonna have fun I know she's pregnant but that doesn't necessarily mean like life is over we're gonna have fun but um so she gave her ticket to my sister so um we should have a really good time I've never been to this venue that she's performing at. And then tomorrow, Saturday, um, I have a full book of clients. So you guys are going to come to the salon with me. Um, one client canceled. I ain't going front. You want to you want a crazy thick book and like, you know, make that money. You don't let that money make you. But girl, when you're a last tech and you don't have no space to eat no damn food. Girl. That part. So my fill canceled. And now I get to eat lunch. <laughs> it just be the small wins. But yeah, it should be fun. We're going to have a good time. Right now, I'm pulling up to the nail salon. Um, I do go to two different places. What is this? I go somewhere different for my feet than I do my hands. Y'all know, um, Bossy Claw Girls. Tia hooked me up the other day. Um, oh, shit. Oh, here it is. My mask. <laughs> but um, I go to, you know... The little round of weight joints for my pedicures because I get the same damn thing every time. But I right, let me put my mask on and I will check y'all when I get my seat. Oh, it feels good outside. Yes, baby. Yes. I am so worn outside. But um let the games begin. <laughs> Pretty. so predictable. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I mean, I feel good about this outfit. We just shot in three different places. So this is the real life. This is after a content shoot. We were all beautifully organized. And now all the clothes. And yes, Avery says I'm ghetto because I'm barefoot. Yeah. It's ghetto. Well, because Louis Vuittons are not meant to be walked in. Just to parade around and stand. So I'll check in with you guys in a minute because um, I'm starving. <laughs> oh my gosh, Gems, I was talking all that time. I was not recording. Anyway, so we're back home from 
shooting content i typically only can get through three looks but i was able to squeeze out a fourth look and i'm so excited because that at least gets me three to four weeks worth of content for instagram i was able to vlog a little bit you guys um probably have already seen at this point avery was able to get some kind of behind the scenes um i have not eaten all day i had a cheese stick and still pork rice so I'm about to go upstairs and heat me up some um, corned beef and cabbage. And baby girl hasn't been asleep all day. We woke up a couple times this morning. We woke up, like, I think initially we woke up at, like, 8 o'clock. Went back to sleep until 10 o'clock. She has been up since 10 a.m. And that is, like, what's happening. I need you to take a nap. Which is... <laughs> Her attitude shows that she's taking off. She's just fighting it. So, yeah, I'm about to go and um, get us together. Get her together. Look at her. Where are you going? Look at her pushing up. Where are you going? Mama. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Look, and then you just dropped your nut. No, you can't have the camera. You can't take the camera, baby. So, <laughs> I'm going to get us together. Um... She's about to fall asleep. I can feel it. Like, even in her eyes, she's tired. And she's whiny. What? I'm going to go fix her something to eat. And then we're both, we about to be out for a little bit. So I'll jump back on um, if there's anything, you know, pop, lock, and drop for the rest of the day. But it's pretty chill. Tomorrow I have a full day at the salon. So I think I'm just going to sit here, snuggle with her, watch uh, Yellowstone, and uh, call it a day. So I will pick back up with you guys in a little bit. Don't no, 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 no. Relax. Relax. <laughs> do I know my child or do I know my child? Yo, I literally turned the camera off, turned her around on my chest. So you can't beat moms, man. I will always win. And she ain't been asleep since 10 a.m. It is 6.29. Look, Avery was just showing me. Show, let me. Oh, I got it. Avery made a reel from today's, um, what is it, a point of view, being a creative director for the Amber Life. Look at the boo-boo. You did that. I like it. I try to ride the ass. <laughs> I'm going to well, well, oh, you, said, you texted to me? Mm -hmm. You want me to drop it? No, I got it because I'm going to save it. No, I think it's perfect. I'm gonna be real with y'all. This is probably the most candid I've ever been on on uh, YouTube, but almost killed my son. He went outside to play, and we have rules and regulations for where he plays in the area. Child, he cut a corner, was up the block, up the hill. Almost lost myself, and I don't know how many moms watch me, how many of y'all follow me in my journey, but one thing I don't do is play about my kids, as any other parent would. And then what really set me off is that child, he taking the sodas and the juices and giving it to all the neighborhood kids. Who you ask? Who did you run that by? But I just had to dig up in his behind. Now he downstairs with a long face, but had me out here heart palpitating, thinking he didn't got snatched up. He up, he up on the other side of the damn neighborhood and didn't tell me. I'm tired. I'm about to heat my food up. And go lay down hey, because Bob. these kids is driving me goddamn the same. It get it get a little warm outside. He lose his damn mind. <sighs> anyway, I, I got my corned beef and cabbage. I'm just putting it all in my bowl because it's going all in one spot, it's going all in one hole. And then I'm adding um, a boiled egg for additional protein. But chill. Don't have me stand out on the porch screaming your name. And then he didn't even answer his cell phone. <sighs> Jesus, be a fence. Don't you do it, Ray. Mm. <gasps> Raymond. <laughs> Ray, why you do that to her? Why you scare her? Look at her face. <laughs> why you scare my baby? <laughs> Good morning, my love. Um, it is Saturday morning. I'm headed into the Lash Salon. I have a full book today. Um, Tay just got to the house, so he's home with Bo. It's going to be an, an amazing day. Not just because I say so, 
man because it's beautiful outside. Um, so he's gonna have a daddy daughter date. Um, but yeah, I'm headed to the salon. Um, I have two clients back to back and then I have like a bit of a break. So my last client is actually my girlfriend, Sania, and we're going to go grab lunch. Um, I, she's the one that I, was I sharing this with y'all? I don't know. Child, I don't even know what time, like whether I'm coming or I'm going. But um, she is the one that we were supposed to go. Yeah, I talked to you guys about this. Um, supposed to go to the Jasmine Sullivan concert, but she's pregnant and um you need to be fully vaccinated and uh so we're kind of bummed that she can't go but um we're gonna have a date today i just want to treat her because i know her spirit i know she wanted to go so bad and it just didn't work out so i was like you know what i'm gonna take her to lunch plus i have a, a little break between the rest of my clients for the day so i am anticipating a smooth day everybody's appointments are going to be super easy um they there are a lot of full sets today and i need to fix that like any lash techs out there like and comment below like what is the max full sets you'll do in a day because there's nothing to do a fill but child full sets can literally burn you out um and i have all of them are full sets and one makeup client so i am just um gonna need a little pep in my step because i'm sure i can knock this out but i really probably need to cut it off at like three a day and just do fills after that because girl you have to take into consideration like and i don't know if you guys know this the human eye has between 90 and 150 lashes so doing a full set of lashes too many times in one day you're just like and it depends on the person's lash type there's curly lashes straight lashes um thin lashes full lash it's a lot so whereas though you don't think you have any lashes and you're a mole rat that is a lie <laughs> y'all be having a hundred goddamn lashes on your lids and be like oh i do yeah girl so anyway but it's a blessing. No complaining. I need to get gas. That's what y'all just heard. But I don't have time. So I'll do that around lunchtime. But yeah, no traffic. I'm a little sleepy just because, like, I don't want to call them night terrors, but like, Bo sometimes in the middle of the night would just like scream, like squeal out, and like it sounds like this gut wrenching. And then she just goes back to sleep. But you have to understand. Even though I'm asleep. I'm a parent. So I'm not really in a deep, deep sleep. And that joint literally jolts me out of my sleep. And then I have a hard time going back to sleep. So I wouldn't say I'm well rested. I would say I'm rested. Because maybe if I lay down or stop moving. Anything's possible. But yesterday it was so dope. Um, she sent me some pictures as teasers since this was a spring shoot and Monday's the first day of spring so at least I have content but baby that was fun um, I'm gonna give Max a call I wonder if she's probably at the salon in Delaware to see how her day's looking but I will check in with you guys in a little bit I'll see if I can capture some content of me doing one of those full sets today it really depends on the client they have to sign off on it right but then also um it's having a storage on my phone let's just keep it that <laughs> so i'll check in with you guys in a little bit y'all sick of me using my phone but um you know what i'm just setting up for my first client and i need some water yeah oh well they put it in there but, um, yeah, girl. It's so funny. I just got in here and I saw somebody that I went to high school with. Um, she was so dope. Uh, it was so nice. To, I just, the day's gonna be great. I mean, low key, I used to date her brother, but, um, we've always been really cool with each other. She's excited to see me. As I was her. So, yeah. 
Let me get started. I don't want to get copyrighted. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. We're in the building. House of Fabulous. D on, I was just in DC on Saturday. And um, you know, all in the damn restaurant. You know, nobody say nothing. And it was like fine dining too. I don't Having lunch with my booty. I've never been here before. Everybody talks about it. Ooh, we on a date. We on a date. Nothing tastes good to me right now. I feel you. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, y'all, I'm on date. <laughs> I want to have a leg. Oh, they got Caesar salads. I should be keeping it cute. But I. Segment. I left my, I always leave my camera. I left it in the um salon. Is this supposed to be green? I thought it was in the rain. Yes, oh, be. thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, he is. He'll get it. He'll get her done. I'm not mad about it. You don't want to get a little Prada moment. Get yourself a little. <laughs> that shit is a tank. And he crashed it. Oh, I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. I would. Y'all, when I, when I tell y'all I'm dead, I'm so tired. Six clients later. It's almost six o'clock. Going home to my baby. I hope he want crabs. But I, I don't wanna. I mean, I may do it. Because that's just where I'm at. But now my niece called me. Because she asking me to pick her up. So she can go to skate land. So she's never over. I'm so tired. But anyway. <sighs> Good night. House of Fabulash. See you next week. I have so much shit in my hands. Let me get it together. I'll get back home when I get in the car. Hey Sunday, Jen. Um, we're actually the first ones awake in my family. I'm wearing the same shirt. Ooh, I was so tired last night. Bo Bear's in her toy. Um, it's Sunday fun day. You already know how that goes. Um, I have to clean this basement up. I'm dispersing of all of the packages I got throughout the week because recycling is tomorrow. Um, what else did I want to do? I have a reel that I'm going to work on. Um, putting Bo's high chair together with um, a partnership with Yay Baby. I don't know if you guys out there have seen how you can um, purchase the $20 high chair and then this other company kind of like decorates it custom. So, I yeah, know how I feel about rainbows with Bo. That's where her name came from. She's my rainbow baby. Um, so, we got something cooking but uh tonight is jasmine solid night i don't know what i'm wearing yet so tbd on that but um i think i have an idea i just need to make i needed to come i need to come together for me but i think i have an idea and i'm definitely wearing sneakers <laughs> you tried it um I'm excited, you guys. Today is not the best beautiful day in Baltimore, but it's not raining, it's not snowing, and it's not as cold as it could be. Girl, what's the beef in the streets? Does she be fighting this little bumblebee on her toy? Like, she really has beef with this bumblebee. But yeah, so that's what's going on so far. I'm going to get my Sunday started, because um, I really want to tackle getting this basement together um, and cleaning my bathroom, um, and starting laundry. Like, oh, we have so much laundry. And me and Bo leave this week. Actually, Pierce leaves too. He's just going to his grandmother's. But essentially, Bo um, and I are going out of town next weekend for a wedding, but also to visit friends who has not met her yet. Um, so that should be really fun, but I need to get, like, our looks together. I, like, I want to get ahead of it. I don't want to wait till the last minute. I don't want to be out here Wednesday packing. I just don't. It's not my ministry. Um... 
I don't think I can fit it in today. Um, and you may see it in the next vlog. But my baby girl needs clothes, honey. She is, and she gets it honest, she's a long baby. And honey, these six to nine months, this baby girl is definitely wearing nine to 12. So I think I'm going to go to the children's place um, sometime next week so we can get some clothes for the weekend because it's much warmer where we're going. Um, so, but yeah, child, that's it. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Um, but we're going to get this Sunday cleaning together. I consider turning on gospel because then, you know, that's a trigger. <laughs> but I'm going to let Pierre sleep in a little bit because, um, well, he just deserves it. All right. Talk to you later. So I'm all together. Kids are covered. Grab my sister a bottle of wine for babysitting tonight. Um, I'm headed to go pick up my cousin Cherie, who is my plus one. Tariqa did not feel like coming out tonight. Even though it's Jasmine Sullivan, she just didn't have it in her. Ugh, I feel like this crimp is trying to ruin my vibes. So yeah, I went ahead and like crimped my hair. Just I wanted to try something different before I get a new style that next week. And I just feel like crimps are synonymous with like concerts. Now granted from like the 1980s, but you get the gist. Uh, we're about to go. So once I pick my cousin up, we're driving down to DC and we're going to dinner and we're meeting up with some friends from college and high school so that should be really fun um it's about 10 of us and yeah i'm excited like i haven't been to a concert since tiana taylor and i'm really looking forward to just like girls night out listening to jasmine you know having all the moments <laughs> and it's sunday i've been in the house all weekend and then you saw that i had to like work all day yesterday so this is like my fun time and i'm looking forward to it so i don't have any liquid foundation on before you girls be asking me you know i really don't rock with liquid foundation like that um i'll use it from you know from time to time but this is the one sized foundation from patrick star i'm in the shade deep five neutral but yeah i just put a little bit of concealer on you know my go-to like i look just two shades um from from the sassy sienna's palette for those of colors and then i just put powder all over my face you know hit, hit myself off with a little bit of highlight and a little cheek but for the most part it's like a 10 15 minute face um and it's what i'm most comfortable with and the lip is the huda booty staycation with chestnut liner and i'll probably put a gloss on top but i'm about to go eat so like why waste the gloss um yeah i feel like i'm all caught up um i'm almost at my cousin's house so i'm gonna go snatch her up and we're gonna get on the road honey we're gonna get on we're gonna get on 295 get on down the road look at me going to dc like every other damn day who i think i eat um, but yeah, I'm going to listen to Jasmine Sullivan, catch up on the lyrics so that I am in tune with her tonight. <laughs> and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed. Staring at you on the set plane. I ain't worried about nothing. Cause you got me feeling like the Wayne White in no 03. Yeah, you and me, we got the heat. So bump all that anxiety. But you hit to the side of me. I feel like I'm gliding. And honestly, look, I don't want you saying that you had a better chance without me. That you wish you had made plans without me. Look, I hate to make this song about me. But I really wanna tell you that I'm still Tell me, what it is, tell me what it ain't Trigger happy, you looking by I might just detonate yeah. Yeah. 
I'm a 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 I'm a